This is normal speed. This is not sped up. Uh, this is the way that this process is supposed to work. If you have way too many worms and way too much frass, it doesn't really work. They kind of just stay in the pile. But uh, this plate is heating up and they're all kind of freaking out and trying to get off of the heat. And they go down into this tray and there you go. You have um, all your worms in one place with no frass. And that's what you do right before you want to harvest and eat them or if you're just trying to clean out your colony. These haven't been fed in quite a while, so um, once they come out of here, uh, they'll be ready to eat. Uh, you'll notice there's a lot of smaller ones, but I can't really do anything about that. It's hard to uh, separate the generations right now. Um, I think it'll be fine. Uh, we're about to go on holiday for a week, but we are going to uh, put them in the freezer, and then I'll cook them up when we get back. Our first mealworm meal. Finally, the moment of truth. Uh, we have this many worms after all our efforts. That's how many worms we have left that aren't either uh, set free, as you saw earlier, or uh, turned into pupae, turned into beetles. And we're gonna put them in the freezer because we're going away for a week, and when we come back, we'll, we will cook them. You should always put them in the freezer first. It's the more humane way, and um, it just, yeah, it, even if you go away and uh, you're not gonna eat them, this just puts them into hibernation mode. So here we go. I'm going to put them in an airtight container. I've already filtered the, the frass out, and when we come back, they'll be completely frozen. Still alive, technically, I guess. I don't know how that works. And, uh, and yeah, for two months, they'll stay alive. If you leave them in for longer than two months, I think they're, they're going to die. But, uh, there's actually one pupa in there now, but I think, um, uh, I think you can eat those as well. But actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to freeze the pupa that literally just turned from worm into a pupa and uh, see if it still turns into a beetle after a week uh, in the freezer. See you in Thailand!